Pitika Pasca. Boy, do I, I have a conspiracy theory for you. Squirrels are alive. They are more intelligent than human beings, right? Squirrels have the biggest anatomy brains in the entire Milky Way streaming galaxy bro that shit is wild as fuck motherfucker honestly you've seen the episode of rick and morty where they're like you know he has to get it removed because there's squirrels in the trees and he can hear them talk and they start talking it's like i believe the squirrels are working for some it's maybe some higher power i'm not saying good or bad i'm you know i think they are like the guardian angels whatever they're doing i think they know shit that we will never have a clue what's going on bro these squirrels are literally cream of the crop they are the smartest and you know you see a dog and you say oh, come here buddy and they do this squirrels just look at you but they are reading your mind before you even think they are looking at you like this guy is so dumb i know what he's gonna say before he even speaks and he thinks i don't understand him i'm just gonna steal these nuts and run up a tree that is what these freaks are doing and they are gonna my god there must be billions of them they must have secret civilizations bro hiding under the ground like in coliseums you know like hidden atlantises but hidden squirrel lantis and shit and they're all just like best buddies eating acorns living their best life they're all communists and they're all happy as shit but who do they work for what are they doing and why now do they work for the american government no no way they are too good and too pure to do that all they want is the world to be live long and prosper they don't give a fuck about humans but they care about life life must prevail and last forever but why am i talking about crazy squirrels and how they're trying to save the world from humans and i reckon they know the nuclear codes can i just say i think that you know oh the president gets the red button dude no they answer to the squirrels it's like mr president sir Russia are, uh, they've sent the bombs. Why are you telling me, dude? Grab the squirrels. They're the ones who run the fucking country. You know that. Why, I'm just the figurehead. They're the ones controlling me from behind and telling me what to say. Huh? Joe Biden's actually an animatronic controlled by a squirrel. Is that actually true? So let's just, uh, this lady right here. Look, she notices, hmm, what's that? Looks like a, I mean, I have to admit, I don't know what it is. It looks like a pizza, maybe a jam tart. But I think this guy's been excluded from the little secret civilization. He is just like, he's like, I'm not doing this. I will not work for you corporate pigs who control the government and who are trying to take over the world or trying to save the world. Again, I'm not sure if I die and I never make a video after this one. I swear on my, on my nan's life. I swear on my... My two testicles, bro. If I am dead, these cunts took me and had, I, like, they're going to wrap me up in a corpse, take me down into the secret, and like, you know too much information. How do you plead? And I'll be like, dude, I was just, like, talking shit. I had too much caffeine that day, and my my brain was all over the shop. I knew I shouldn't have had that packet of sweets. And, look, I was just theorizing. It's like, well, you know too much. You must die. And I'll be like, the fuck you talking about? And then I was like, Hulk smash, stretch, and I'm free. Hey, but look, this guy, this this little dude, fucking presumptuous, I know. Came and dropped. What? What's that? And baby pizza, a piece of bread with jam on it. I, don't, I, you, you have a guess. It looks like a pancake with tomatoes on it. it. Either way, he's tried. It's clearly not what any human being would even look at. Never mind eat. But this guy is just trying to do the right thing. He knows something evil's coming, and he just wants her to know, look, I've got you, bub. I'm going to look after you. No matter what happens, no matter how close we get to doomsday, I got you. He's trying to, like, warn them. What about if there was a little note inside, you know, like a little cookie cracker, you know, what you get in a Chinesey wheezy thing, and it tells you, you will have a terrible day. And it's like, dude, that's just every day. Don't know. <laughs> that's not predicting anything different. That is what this guy right here is trying to do. He's trying to tell this girl, quickly make the bunker, hide, flee to the country, do whatever you must to survive, because the world is coming to an end. It's cute though, isn't it? This little um, squirrel, but basically the, the apparent story is this woman feeds the squirrels, you know what I mean? And the squirrel wanted to return the favor. So I think squirrels are honestly pulling our little wieners along because they do not need feeding. They are like the, the got, you know, they've got the gold, man. They are absolutely running shit. And they oh, will have these humans pretend they are the big dogs. Yeah, give them their houses, give them their shit, but they'll never have the technology we have. They have like art, you know, is anyone, have you ever cut up a squirrel? Weird question. Pretend I didn't say that. But what about if they were robotic inside and they had like alien shit and the way like, arm turned into a fucking cyberpunk missile? I just don't think people are taking this serious enough. This could be the end of civilization, bro. They might have microchips firmly planted up their 
brain. I was going to say bum. Could be up there, bum. And they are just recording, monitoring, sensing the situation. They're like, I've sensed a disturbance in the force. I like you! Have you felt it? Yes, master. We must stop the humans from taking over and destroying this once great planet. Don't you remember the brothers, the mammals? Can't you remember the brothers and sisters, the dinosaurs? What a great laugh they were. I know we didn't destroy the uh, dinosaurs, but just pretend we did. We must go back to this civilization. We must fight against these tyrannical bags of blood. Yay, yay. And they're all screaming in a little high-pitched voice, and then they're all going to go like... Let us attack! And one day we'll be screwed. Alright, so if I was you, stock up on your tins of beans. Load up on ammunition if you're an American. If you're not an American, or if you are an American, let me know and I'll send you an address and you can send me an AK-47 in a mattress and maybe a few hand grenades in, thing, in case things get a bit close. But either way, boys, the end times is nigh and it is coming. And the squirrels know something we don't. And I swear on God's my, I swear on God's life. I swear on my life. I swear on my mother's life. When the time comes, we gotta be prepared for these motherfuckers because they can tear our eyeballs out. You seen Alvin and the Chipmunks? I know they're not Chipmunks, but I think they probably have similar fighting capabilities. You know what I mean? If this was like Mortal Kombat, they have pretty similar stats. So they did. I'm not crazy. I'm just ahead of the fucking curb. <sighs> Hello, Batman. Oh, oh, mommy's gonna be so disappointed in me. <laughs>